Stuart, welcome back. How good does it feel to be back on the training pitch, around the training ground with the boys again? Yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm desperate to get back, um, as you say, on the grass. Um, but more so because it's it's coming back here. And um, yeah, I got the call you know, late after afternoon yesterday, right out of the blue, um, and it just snowballed quickly. But uh, really pleased to to get the first session in the belt. We've got a lot of players, big squad. You know, only two or three injuries, thankfully, at the moment. Um, so, yeah, just really looking forward to, to the rest of the season, really. You and Kenny, obviously, just overseeing your first session this morning. How, what did you think? Encouraging signs, maybe you like the look of the squad? Yeah, listen, we know, um, you know, the season started really well and obviously not winning seven games. So, And likewise, when a, you know, a manager leaves, there's always a, you know, a, a sadness, especially Gary. Listen, he's a good bloke. He's a good bloke, he's Gary. Um, a good human being so you know we, we had to address that this morning um, but we've got a third of the season to go and we've got everything to play for yet yeah, we're on a little bit of a sticky run at the moment um, but things can change so quickly um, it's a game at a time we know that but it's nice nice to work with the players um, we'll have a couple of double sessions I'll have a see them again this afternoon and on Thursday so the quicker we can get to knowing all the players and what they're good at and what they're not good at and the best formations and, and everything that comes into it. Um, but we saw a couple of things today that, yeah, are, are promising and obviously brought three new lads in, in in the window there. I know Lee, I know a little bit about Glenn, um, not so much about Curtis, but we'll get to them over the coming days. But I think the important thing is for himself and Kenny, listen to the other members of staff, but get in among the players as quick as we can and you know find out the, the, the positivity um, and what they bring. Your third spell now here as a manager, too, as a player as well, but it's important to, to sort of get back down to business quickly and, oh, yeah. and not let sentiment get in the way, in yeah. a sense. Yeah, 100%. It's, not, it's not, nothing to do with me, this, coming back. It's, it's about the football club. Um, and as I say, I don't want any... It's, it's just when I spoke to Julian yesterday, he was on about maybe coming in on Thursday and getting started. And I said, well, Julian, if it's going to happen and, and you know it, it, everything's OK, then really we would like to be in the first thing in the morning. Hence, me and Kenny were here this morning at eight o'clock, and um, really excited to, to to be back at a, a proper football club. And um, you know, one I've only made one game this season, home to Exeter. Um, in fact, Exeter played quite well that day, but you know, obviously we won. But the atmosphere was terrific. Even had that airs on the net because of, you know, two and a lot of the crowd were really behind them, and that's what we need again. Um, yeah, it's been a difficult last couple of months. But we believe, you know, we've got a squad there that can capable of, of getting better results than they've proved of late. And uh, it's our job to, to get the best out of what we've got at this moment in time. And Grimsby, up at the weekend, up at home, obviously, how much yeah. you're looking forward to getting back out in front of the supporters and, 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 you know, what do you think we can come to expect, what you're expecting from Grimsby? Yeah, well, again, I got the call yesterday afternoon and you know, I was looking at our own squad and clips and then I had a look at a little bit of Grimsby. Obviously, you know, we've got a big... Big James Hansen and Billy Clark up top for them. Played last week, they got a good uh, two all against Forest Green. Obviously, since Ian Holloway has gone in, they've been re energised and revitalised. I believe they're bringing almost 3,000, so you know they're having a, a big backing. But I think it should be a really good atmosphere. Um, but you know, I, I've just got to concentrate on it. We'll know, we'll have a look at Grimsby and, and be aware of where their strengths are. But uh, in any game, we look what we can do, how we can impress ourselves on them. Um, high tempo and all, all the stuff that you want. Um, I want to see, as I always try to, crosses into the box, shots at goals, action, get the supporters off the, the backsides, get them behind us, get them singing. But we've got to do that. We've got to prove, if we've got football, it's, you know, not producing, not really anything to get excited about, um, that's not going to lift them. Hopefully they won't need a lifting Saturday, they'll be right behind the players and the squad. Um, and yeah, looking forward to it immensely. Just on the supporters, finally, as you mentioned, it should be a raucous atmosphere on Saturday. You've obviously got quite a close affinity with them. Have you got a final message for them ahead of the weekend? No, listen, it's it's a, it's a we've got a third of the season to go. We start scratch, even if you like, and you're looking at it and looking at the table and where we want to be. Um, we go to the very last seconds of the, the um, season um, and hopefully we will amass enough points to be in and about it and hopefully... Um, we can bring success at the end of the season but um, there's no magic wand there's no promises other than um, we we'll demanded everything from the players and ourselves um, and yeah just 
there's an excitement, there's a determination and a desire um, to, to get where we want to be. Um, and I just, obviously, with the backing and support, I know how many we're at Mansfield, how many we're at Oldham, the support is fantastic. It's a, as I said, it's a championship club. And we were so, without looking back, we were VAR goal away maybe from being in a championship. But we want to get back there as soon as we can. And, um, you know, we need everyone together. I know it's a, it's a saying that everyone will use, but even in the bad times or the little blips or, the, you know, it's a nil-nil and it's, that's when we need you most. I've always said that. And, you know, once the cop get going, you know, it's like an extra man. So I don't have to ask him for the support because I'm sure we'll get it. But we as players have got to make sure we're giving ours maximum, which we will be.